Recently, yes, there has been a spike in the menus of jungle justice in Nigeria. Jungle justice is a form of self-help, an extrajudicial form of justice often carried out by angry mobs. Some of the allegations against the victims of these mobs include, but not limited to robbery, witchcraft, blaspheme, and rape. Jungle justice incidents are believed to be underreported due to the fact that it occurs often in remote areas. The most recent of the cases is a yet to be identified suspected armed robber who was beaten to death in Olubosho, the Agege area of Lagos State, while attempting to rob a resident with a toy gun. Speaking to N24 on the street of Lagos, some Nigerians condemned extrajudicial form of justice but noted that due to the previous experience of deceit, residents have lost faith in government, police, and the judiciary. When justice is denied, the victim's family feel cheated. As this reason whereby the person that's supposed to be prosecuted at the end of the day was the one that even had the, had the advantage. However, some of the residents who spoke to the platform maintained that the government is not to be blamed for the crimes of the citizens. The system has failed, that's the truth. And so people feel that um, they arrest politicians, they arrest big time national thieves, and at the end of the day, we don't hear anything about them again. So, um, so when people now catch petty thieves because of that emotional outbreak, because of the anger, they go all out. They go all out. There are some situations whereby you go to the police and maybe tell them or explain to them. They won't do. They, in fact, they will just fall your hands. And you can't just let it go like that. If not, it will continue. That's why people tend to just take action on their own. The right thing is for you to report the case to the police, let them take it up by themselves. But in the present um, situation in the country right now, you find that justice is being maneuvered.